Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to my live this morning. This is Jenny McCormack from Gemini Crafts. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley in the centre of the UK. Thank you for joining me for today's live. It's a beautiful sunny morning this morning. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a hot day. They're saying about 31 degrees, maybe. So, um, yeah, definitely a warm day today. That's for sure. Right. So, today we're featuring this Way to Goat <laughs> stamp set. Morning, Molly. Morning, Jeanette. Morning, Linda. So yesterday and Monday we had fun with the zany zebras and we made these cards. So this was one on Monday and then um, yesterday, kick up your heels with a pink zebra for a girl and then a fun zebra with stars just in black and white for a boy. So, hi Maretta, hi Jacqueline, hi Pauline. So, this is the one I want to use today. Now, I haven't used this stamp set yet. I literally just put the stickers on it uh, just prior to coming live. So, as you can see, it's called Way to Goat. Bit of a pun there. Um, but it has three cute little goat images, as you can see. So, we have one up there on the top right-hand side, just stunning on their own. And then you've got... Um, this billy goat here and then a uh, little female goat there judging by her sort of eyelashes and everything and you've got a useful bit of ground and a slightly bizarre can and then we've got sentiment wise happy birthday you old goat you're the goat and then underneath that greatest of all time and then I got you a cake but I ate it I think I have to use that one and then way to goat so a little bit of fun um, i'm going to do some straightforward coloring on these with blends pens so we'll see how we get on with those morning brenda morning carol hi liz oh and hi tracy sorry i didn't see you sneak in so um nice and straightforward because yesterday i spent all day doing my class in a box packs so for those of you that are here um, that have ordered those, they're on their way, literally. They're all ready for the post office as soon as I've finished here. So I decided today was going to be a nice, straightforward, simple stamping, exactly as we would do, for example, at Coffee and Card. So I've um, just chosen some Whisper White card here, which is going to layer onto a piece of smoky slate and I look like I look like I need to cut that one down a little bit which I'll do in a second and then I haven't decided on backing cards but I just picked out three colours good old blackberry bliss pool party and an old olive those colours look really nice together I just had to pull them out of my um, card stash so um, let's start off with um, the single little one here and what I was thinking of doing is um, perhaps stamping him in a or her in a circle or stamping and punching around so let's give that a go and have a look so I'm going to ink this up. It really doesn't matter what ink pad. I've got black memento ink, but you could easily use a basic grey, early espresso. Let me grab a piece of grid paper. So 
so I can just stamp it off on here first. Cute. So do remember when you have a new set of stamps to um, stamp it off first onto a piece of paper before you do your main image just to release any of the um, release agent that's still on the stamp from when it comes out of the, the stamp moulds. Cute! So I'm going to colour that one in first and then punch it out. So colour wise, I mean goats can come in all sorts of colours. You get white goats. <laughs> I, yeah, it's sweet isn't it Liz? Um, hi Jill. So let's see what I've got. So I've got an assortment of colours. So I've got dark crumb cake and a light crumb cake. Um, I've also got the stamp to put the grass on which I will do. So let's just do a little bit of light and dark crumb cake and see. So the nice thing about um, most of these images is that they've done the hard work for you. Uh, Stumming have a fantastic designer team. So anywhere you see any extra marks that calls for a little bit of highlighting. I think I'm going to do like so. I'm going to do the horns a slightly different colour, I think. So this is just the dark crumb cake. Do a little bit underneath there, like so. And oh, a light crumb cake here. So just using that um, circular motion to blend those in. I think I'm going to have a little little bit of a pink face, so pink cheeks or something. There we go. tip although this is rather well used this one like so and I'm just going to it's fairly light actually there's no sort of there's a little space there for pink pink cheeks aren't there not much though. Let's add a little bit. So I've got light flirty flamingo. Let's bring a little bit on there. Like so. little bit of shading behind there and let's have legs this is light smoky slate let's do that for the horns I 
And I'm quite tempted to put blue eyes. What do we think? If I could find blue tanned. Hi Barbara. Hi Linda. Thank you for joining me. So we're playing with way to goat. We did zebras yesterday and the day before and goats today. <laughs> right, just going to stamp a little bit of grass across the bottom. So you could just use a blends pen, but as there's a useful um, little ground stamp, like there was with the zebras, um, these are great if you're not very good at um, just adding in a little bit of um, detail. Cute! That's got a really nice um, shading to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the stamped image there. Hi Babsy, sorry I didn't see you. Oh bless you Pauline. <laughs> well I'm not an expert by any means and I do keep mine very simple I have to say. <laughs> hi Jen, hi Carol. So this is a two inch punch. I could go slightly bigger. Actually, I probably need to go slightly bigger because it's going to look a bit lost on a card, but I might switch it down to a smaller card. I am going to just add in a little bit of green at the bottom. Hi, Carol. I'm almost assuming it's beautifully sunny down your way. fill that little gap in and then I have a our starburst punch which is sadly retiring um, or retired I should say it's got been and gone but it's just a useful punch just slightly bigger than the two inch so I'm just going to pop that onto there, cute, and let's add the sentiment then and then I'm going to layer that up. So I might do it on a smaller card or I might introduce some designer paper to um, make that a little bit more interesting. So the sentiment I'm going to use was I got you a cake but I ate it. go but I ate it and I was thinking of punching those out but I wonder if I might um, put those flat on the paper so This is paper called Artistry Blooms and as you can see it's got a faded edge to it, goes up deeper and then back again and so you have a multitude of colours, so purples and pinks, greens, peach and orange, a nice beautiful Magenta Madness and blue and then on the other side of this hello Verity it's got a whole series of really bright bold patterns okay so using the same colorways but really bold patterns so I was thinking I could use this um, 
as a bottom section I could do it in a brighter color but I'm thinking that just looks like grass then so I think I'm going to use that this is artistry blooms it's called and I am releasing my paper share information I needed to get my glass in a box out first which I've done um, so you'll have information about that and basically it, it enables you to have a little of all of the new designer papers in a six by six inch format but basically you get a quarter of a pack um, of all of the different designs so all I'm going to do is I want to use this lighter piece here and I'm going to cut this to what am I going to cut it to so a standard card is ten and a half I'm going to have a little bit of layering so I am going to do it at nine and a half really does look like a sort of meadow doesn't it and I'm going to do this by 13.85 like so make sure I tidy those bits all away so what I was thinking I've punched out the starburst from there so as not to waste it that was my sort of thinking to have her on there and then the sentiment stamped up here and then maybe down here that's my plan so the question is which way around do I have my grass that way I think so dark going to light let's pop that layer down first so I've got my seal there we go. so just watch out if you've got glue if you've got a gap there don't push it down too hard onto your grid paper or your work table like so and I'm going to put that onto my choice of card so I'm tempted to pick out the old olive although now it looks too green put it onto the pool party so just going to layer these up so just holding it slightly high until I've got it where I want it on one side and then press it down like so sweet so I'm going to put this one onto here so I'm going to use seal for this and then dimensionals for that backing oh Verity how lovely to see you I caught a posting of yours the other day, it was lovely, I can't remember what it was, but it was so nice. I remember thinking, I must let Verity know. So I'm thinking, I want a happy birthday up there. Oops, I got you a cake. But I ate it. There. So I think I'm going to take the happy birthday from the zany zebras that we used. Because I don't want happy birthday you old goat. 
because I may give it to somebody who's not an old goat, who's a bit younger. So let's pop that down there. Happy birthday. Now I'm going to put this straight onto the card and then if I mess it up, I will put it onto a piece and put it on top. I've got some ink on my hands from somewhere. Let me put that back. so I didn't want to put the goat down on dimensionals because it sort of gets in the way of your stamping I hear the wood pigeons <laughs> they're on good form today oh happy anniversary Verity five years well done, you've done very well in five years. You really have. I want to stamp this first just to see how straight it is. As you can see, it goes down very slightly. That's better. So if I keep the stamp straight and not look at anything else, It'll be fine. There we go. But I ate it. I put could put, but I ate it on the inside. There we go. really needs a, a piece of birthday cake now doesn't it to show it off so a couple of dimensionals on the back oh thanks Claire your goodie box is on its way today and Jeanette So just a little bit of fun, nice and easy, straightforward stamping. There we are. Happy birthday. I got you a cake, but I ate it. And I feel like I need to put something inside. So I think I'm going to put just the very top of the goat. So I'm thinking just there. <laughs> there you are. So I tend to leave the inside one plain. I don't tend to colour it in. Um, only because if I'm using blends pens it can go through to the back. But also it's just quite a nice little sort of touch for the inside. So there we go. Oh, excellent, Christine. Bless you. I did check the uh, tracking yesterday and I, it said it had been delivered. So, And your class in a box is on its way too. So there we go. Two deliveries in a week. Okay, so there's the first one. Happy birthday. I got you a cake, but I ate it. <laughs> and let's do one with the two goats this time. So we've got Billy Goat here with a flower and then Lady Goat looking quite, I was going to say sheepish, but she can't be, can she? <laughs> right, let's find that slightly 
smaller one. Okay, so what I'm going to do for these is just stamp those two onto there and um, let me find a bigger block. I'm hoping that will fit on there. Okay, so if you have a, um, a block that's not quite big enough to hold it in one direction, don't hesitate to put it on the diagonal of the block. Okay, obviously you're not then using the block to line it up, just look through. Sometimes it's easier to have it not central to the block as well, because your eye tends to look at the edges of the block. And this is beveled edge, so it can be quite deceptive. So if in doubt and you've got a stamp that's a bit, just a bit close to the block, just turn the block onto a diagonal with the stamp on and then you'll find it easier. So let's ink these up. I'm hoping this is, will focus again. I could have him, I think I'm going to have him facing that way. That's the way they show him in the catalogue, I think. I think so. So just nice, even pressure. Cute. And then cute lady goat. No, I haven't stamped this off, which I should have done. Let me do that now. Because it's the first time I've used it. You just get a better impression second time round. Not always. Sometimes first time is good enough. Um, so let's have her here. It's so hot, my hands are sticking to all the papers. There we go. And the ink is transferring onto there. Um, so I'm going to trim that little bit off. Let me just make sure I can do that without it looking too small. There we go. Oh, actually, I might have a way around that rather than cut it down. I just want to check the size, actually, anyway. That is fine, and that is fine. I'm going to add some greenery to this, so that will solve this problem, because I'm going to put the greenery all the way around the edge. So I've got Pear Pizzazz ink. I'm wondering if I should, I might add Old Olive actually as well. And I have from Lovely You, I was going to use this set of leaves here just around the top to make it look like they're in a meadow or something because it's quite, it's sort of in proportion. So if you do add greenery and leaves and things like that, just look at the proportion of what you've got. You don't want huge leaves for a tiny image. So, let me know that that's in the right place. There we go. Yes, you definitely need to do it with photopolymer stamps. You're quite right, Verity. But I often do it with um, these ones as well. So, just stamping... All the way around the edge, like so. There we are, that's better. Let me turn that around. There we go. So, hopefully, I've successfully hidden that mark at the side. There we are. 
and I will add some grass across the bottom with our little grass stamp or ground stamp. This has got a really lovely um, shade into it. I thought the zebra one was nice, but this is even nicer. There we go. She almost looks like she's dancing. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Oh, it's in the right place. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, very sensible, Christine. Very sensible indeed. Okay. So, let's have slightly different colour. So, I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, not that there's much room. The cheeks. A little bit in there. And then I'm thinking some greys this time. I've got grey granite and smoky slate. So I'm going to make him darker and her a little bit lighter. Let's have a look, dark smoky slate. So I'm just going to get the right tip to start with just add a little bit of dark around the edges and where they've given you the sort of lines for the um, fur and everything here a little bit under there Beneath his head there. There we go. I think that's his goatee beard, isn't it? There. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use light smoky slate. <laughs> Sorry girls, I'm very good at enabling, aren't I? <laughs> so, just going to use that circular motion. They're rather, just rather fun actually. I do like the zebras. I think the zebras do well for younger members as well as older members of the family. Whereas the goats, unless you've got somebody who likes goats particularly... It tends to suit an older member, especially with the comments. <laughs> like, happy birthday, you old goat. This would make a sweet little anniversary card, wouldn't it? A lot of people do like goats. Don't they? Well, they do have a reputation for eating everything in sight. Now I'm thinking this um, smoky slate is running out, which is why it hasn't blended as nicely as I would like. So I'm just going to have a look and see if I've got another smoky slate pen, just to even that out. Let me have a quick look. Ooh. I have a new light smoky slate. So that'll be much better. I can just use that over the whole thing. 
and you can see how that's blended in much better because that ink is um, moving it around if you compare here and here so when your pens do get to that patchy state keep them for small areas because you can use that especially with the, the um, smaller pen end and then order a new one for the larger areas there we go that's much better shading so if you notice it being patchy that's the time that you need to um, do something I'm going to Just do that little bit there. Oh, racing stripes, that was a zebra, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, maybe not. Oh, A to Z, that's a good idea. That is a great idea, Christine. So the light one, when it gets patchy, use it just for small areas. It's perfect, absolutely perfect for that until it completely goes. Now I'm thinking what I might do is use a Blackberry Bliss pen for that and then mount it onto Blackberry Bliss card. So this is light Blackberry Bliss for this little flower. I mean, it is a little bit tiny. There we go. And then I think she needs to be um, a brown goat. Right, so uh, one thing I do with my blends pens is I do put the date, the month and the year that I open the pen. Um, mainly, I think if, you were, if you're just on your own, it's fine. Um, oh, and the seagull, yes. <laughs> um, but I find, because I obviously used to do lots of classes and I had multiple pens, it was quite difficult to know which ones were which until a, you know, a customer would say, oh, this is, hasn't got much ink in it. So this one is December 2018. So it just goes to show you how long these pens will last. Obviously, if you use them extensively, they won't last as long you know it's how long is a piece of string but I find by putting the date on I then know at a glance which one out of a pair is older although having said that it doesn't necessarily mean there's less ink in it because it may just been less used that particular one okay so let's do a little bit of light and dark crumb cake could be um, um, white goat couldn't she of course so just coming round the edges doing a little bit of work where they've given you the the hint like so So my team are very excited because this evening, as a stamping up demonstrator, we get to see the new Christmas catalogue. I know it doesn't seem quite right, but that is what it is. So I have, um, what I do like to do with my team, um, who are all such great support and they're such good fun. Um, so there's quite a few of them on here. Um, is we like to watch it together so what I do is I have a um, a zoom team meeting which we held which we hold online 
all of my team are online in one way or another and then when the catalogue gets released I do a screen share and then we literally flip through the pages of the catalogue together and uh, there'll be a bit of ooh and ah and what because <laughs> inevitably there's something in there that you think how weird is that because you have to remember that Stamping Up is a worldwide company so it has to cater for all markets so if you think for us Christmas is you know snow and skis and Father Christmas and you know snowy scenes whereas for Australia for example and the South Pacific they're into you know barbecues and surfing which is why we've had surfing Santas before if you've ever wondered why we have that um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have for us so as demonstrators we'll be able to order in July and for my lovely customers you'll be able to order from August which I think is good it used to be September but I know a lot of my customers like to do um, Christmas cards all year round or at least get ahead of the game I know Molly if Molly's watching <laughs> sorry you can't Christine <laughs> good try though yeah Christmas in June I used to do a class um, Christmas in July that was bad enough really but we're only looking at it so I mean the nice thing is because we get to see it in plenty of time um, there'll be um, you know there'll be presentations and things on it so we can um, see what's going to work because you know for some people it's got to be Christmas trees for other people it's got to be baubles or cute animals or whatever and this will also incorporate, um, you know, other seasonal things, basically. So uh, we'll have harvests and um, um, autumn, you know, autumn stuff. So I want to do this. I don't really want to do it pink, but I want it really pale. So... Yes, well done. Yes, Molly's done 40 so far. I'm thinking Ivory might do the job. Is this Ivory? Yeah, so Ivory is like a um, slightly pinky brown. thinking about that cute <laughs> okay so Molly I've got your order and class in a box lucky girl okay so this is what I was thinking there's the Blackberry Bliss such a lovely deep colour and I do have Smoky Slate looks like it's the wrong size that's definitely the wrong size okay let me cut another must have been an off cut from something else oh I just cut it wrong this morning that's always a possibility Well, I have to say, I have a lovely team to be a leader for, Christine. So normally we meet in person, but um, obviously not at the moment. So this is going to be 10 centimetres. By 14.35. Which will give me half a centimetre border there 
there we go so that just mounts that up nicely um i'm just thinking about a sentiment um let me see i've got smile from lovely you um you're my person heartfelt world about you from zany zebras or oh let's cheer you up that would be quite a good one this is from lovely you because i've only got a little space in there um what else could i have so it's a toss up between let's cheer you up or smile I'll let you decide. So let's cheer you up or smile while I load these up together. Let me know what you think. Oh, thank you, Maretta. Bless you. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think we, we might be barbecuing at this rate. Black Rebus is such a lovely colour, isn't it? But I don't tend to use it very much, especially in the summer, um, just because it's such a deep colour. But I, maybe I should use it more. It just happened to be what I found in my box of cards. So you can see I've covered up this little blemish here on the right-hand side. There we go. This will make a cute anniversary card. Smile. Let's cheer you up. Smile. So I've got two for smile. One for let's cheer you up. Bless you, Christine. <laughs> Let's cheer you up. Let's cheer you up. Oh, I've got two and two, guys. <laughs> it could be. Let's cheer you up. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> Christine, in my team in total, I have about 42. No, I have 42 <laughs> team members in total. Oh, dear. I could do just because. Carol says smile. <sighs> oh dear. I could leave it blank until I decide. I need somebody with an anniversary. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining us. All oh, wild about you. Oh, happy birthday. I could do happy birthday. I don't know why I'm so indecisive. Must be because I'm tired. Diplomatic. He's giving a roast cheer up. Yes. Oh, dear.
dear let's cheer you up okay that's it i'm going with that Right, just stamp this one. I'm going to stamp this one off first to see what it's like. Um, in order. Let's cheer you up. Perfect. That will do. Really needs multiple goats on the right hand side to cheer this lady up, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. It is done. And then I'll put, obviously, I need an insert for that. So I'll just use that. And I'm just going to put some um, of the leaves around the top. If I can see my leaf stamp. There it is. There we go. Or leafage, as Ruth would say. And we're done. Oh, hi, Kim. <laughs> I like it, Christine. <laughs> I hope you're um you're okay, Kim. Hope you're improving. So we're using goats today, Kim. And your goodie books box is also on its way. There we go. Perfect for the inside. So this is the outside. And then this is going to go on the inside, just like that. line that up like that perfect there we are so there's our two sets of goats for today let me move these out of the way so you can see what we did so this was the first one um, happy birthday I got your cake but I ate it there's that one there so I stamped and punched out the goat and layered it with a starburst punch behind but obviously if you've got dies then that would work perfectly just dye some different um, layers and then we've got the little goat inside and then this one our second one has got the two goats on the front so that's all three goats used I used the leaves from Lovely You. The greenery comes from the same goat set, so it's really useful sort of base um, grass or ground, anything really. And then this one has just got the leaves on the inside. There we go. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I look forward to crafting with you again soon. I shall be um, having fun with my team tonight. Now, we're not allowed to share any of that information with customers, I'm afraid. Um, so, but I will just give you an overall gut feeling <laughs> when I'm back tomorrow. So tomorrow, Thursday, I shall be here at 7pm. So it's an evening session for me on Thursday of this week. And then back on Friday at 3 p.m. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your lovely comments, Jeanette, Maretta, Christine, um, Carol, uh, who else? Kim, Molly, Liz, if she's still there, Jill, Pauline. 
Jeanette. Hopefully I've got most of you. I feel bad now if I've missed somebody out, won't I? Carol, of course. Carol, I'll see you shortly. Looking forward to that. Okay, so there we are. Um, the stamp set we used was Way to Goat. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to crafting with you again soon. Hopefully in person at some time soon as well. Thank you so much. Stay safe, look after yourselves, look after each other and do keep crafting. Thank you. Bye-bye.